Hi, my name is Tess and I'm back with a new video. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I have worked so freaking hard this year, but despite that, I was still able to read a few books and I want to talk about them today. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. The first book that I'm gonna talk about is The Girl He Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Graves. The story is all about this woman who meets her ex-college boyfriend after 10 years. There's been kind of a mystery about the relationship in the past. This book has the second chance trope. So if you, if you want books with a second chance trope, you might want to read this one. But I gave this book three stars, mainly because of Annika. I would have given this book two stars if not because of her. I loved reading her POV. I felt like she was such an amazing, caring, and selfless character who deserves all the love in the world. But unfortunately, this ex-college boyfriend that she fell in love with for like the second time does not deserve her at all. I remember rolling my eyes when I read Jonathan's POV. There's nothing more annoying than a man who always repeats the word pretty to describe the love of his life. Like, she's so beautiful. She is so pretty, I'm telling you. She's so hot and gorgeous. Like, you're so pretty and you don't even know. I was like, Jonathan, you are with one of the bravest women in the world, who has like the biggest heart of all. But all he can say is that, yeah, she's so pretty. Can't you think of other adjectives, Jonathan? The book is trying to tell us that these two characters are so in love with each other, but halfway through the book, it all felt like it, it was just Annika who has this deep love for this man. Jonathan is like someone who will tell you how much he loves you, but does not really love you at all and will even try to change something about you, even if he says he accepts you the way you are. A manipulative character if you try to look at it very carefully. This book. Soft. Okay, so the next book that I want to talk about is Culty by Mariana Zapata. This is one of my favorite romance books of all time. It gives us the enemies to lovers trope, age gap trope, and the trope where character A ends up with character B who is a famous person. So Culty is the name of the male protagonist in the story. Culty is a very famous soccer player but has now become a coach for the soccer team where we have our female protagonist named Saul. So Saul, ever since she was a kid, she has been into soccer. She had all these culty posters around her room. This is a kind of enemies to lovers that does not get boring even if you reach the end of the story. And I find myself being so attracted to sport-related stories, mainly because I don't know anything about sports. So athletic people... Oh, well. So athletic people having feelings for each other is really something that interests me. Now I know that Mariana Zapata has many books out there, so I tried another book from her, and that is from Lukov with Love. Lukov is also a name, the name of the male protagonist in the story. Mariana does a great job naming her characters and making their names sound so attractive. Anyway, going back, if Kulti is all about soccer players, from Look of the Love is all about figure skaters, which is super cool because I also don't know anything about figure skating. This is still enemies to lovers romance, but this time I did not enjoy half of where the story was going. Don't get me wrong, this was a fun read. I cried at some parts, but the romance, the romance became too fast for me, too fast and fringy at times. It felt like the characters had just pass on as best friends instead of lovers and it really sucked because I know their endgame no matter what. I'd be 100% honest here. I skimmed through some pages because oh my gosh the inner monologue is just too long and at times unnecessary to be that long. It was so annoying. So the third book that I'm going to talk about is Hot Shot Doc by R.S. Gray. This is my first R.S. Gray book. And from the title itself, this is all about a very attractive surgeon. Like, he's like a boss doctor working in this great hospital. And people there know that he's like one of the best surgeons out there. But he is such an unfriendly man. Like, you cannot see this doctor being around a friend. You cannot see him getting along with others so well. He's like all professional and untouchable. Something like that. I had a lot of good expectations from this book, mainly because I'm all for enemies to lovers, intelligent protagonists, and I'm also a sucker for medical romance type of books, especially in shows. But I didn't give this book five stars. This is definitely a light read romance book, and I was entertained a lot. There were just so many cringy moments. 
from these two people. I heard that R.S. Gray still has a lot of romance books out there, so I'm still giving her other books a chance. So the last book that I want to talk about is Dear Ava by Elsa Madden Mills. I'm going to go straight ahead and say my 100% honest opinion. I have wasted my precious time reading this book. This is one of my worst reads ever. The thing was so cringy. There's nothing like Kabbalah about the romance in here. The couple has zero chemistry. All their conversations are full of nonsense and cringeworthy name calling and a whole lot of annoying word repetitions. Like, for example, I need you. I need you. I need you. You're the only person who sees me the way I am inside. You love me. You love me. You are so good. You, you, you. Up until this point, I still don't get why it got 4.21 stars in Goodreads. Why? I feel sorry for this video turning out to be me being negative about most of the books I mentioned. But yeah, I read them, but I didn't love all of them. There's just one that stands out, and that's Culty by Mariana Zapata, obviously. By the way, I am currently reading Just One Day by Gail Foreman. Wait a second. I'm, re I'm reading Just One Day. I'm still not halfway through. I'm still here at this part. I'm on part two. Okay, this has been giving me a lot of Before Sunrise vibe. I have a sequel as well. I hope I will love this as much as my sister did. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to be back again with another one. Tell me in the comment section down below if you have read some of these books I mentioned. But also appreciate some book recommendations right now. I don't care if those will add up to my endless TBR pile, okay? Just comment any books that you think I will love. And I guess that's it for today. Bye, babes.